Okay, while those are drying, um, this is, I've done a few of these, so we'll just let them dry. You can see that it's, it's dulled down a little bit because I've put the embossing powder over top of it. Um, what I thought I might try, um, I know I've worked with this before and shown you this before, but this is actually crackle paste. I'm just going to try some with this and see how it comes out. You can see it's just like marshmallow. It's so gorgeous, gorgeous stuff to work with. I found this really cheap little uh, stencil in a place called Cheapest Chips. So what I want to do is I just want to put a few of these on here on these larger cards these cards come from the same, I'll just show you the packet, probably easier. Just a Project Life and they're a, a larger card. There's a hundred in each box. I, I got mine at um, Spotlight, but I'm sure you can get them in other places. What I'm going to do is just going to put that over there and I'm going to put the crackle paste over the top and then I'm going to put the embossing powder on, but I'll just show you something a little bit different. I'm just grabbing up enough on my palette knife there and just going to start wiping it over very gently and get some on my table again. Very naughty of me. I should be working with, with something underneath. But um, see how I'm scraping across there? Better to do that. Uh, I just want to see how this works insofar as the... The crackle paste goes. I want to put it on a little bit thicker because the thicker you put it on, the greater the cracks. Um, and I did show you that in the last video I did with using some of this crackle paste. So I'll just scrape it across the top. I'm going to do all of these on here. I'll do a couple of them and let them dry because even though I'll put the um, embossing powder over top before it dries just so that it adheres to the, the crackle paste itself because the um, embossing powder does need something to adhere to and it needs to be something wet whether it's an oil base or um, something or what else could we put put on there just something that's a little bit wet even if you're using a stamp you would normally put a stamp on using either Versamark or a stamp that's actually going a stamp ink rather that's going to stay wet for a little while or at least moist so that the um, embossing powder sticks to the wet surface or just oh you know what I think I've just painted my table <laughs> on a tweet <laughs> I was too busy talking and not enough concentrating here but um, anyway I'll move that in a minute oh dear oh dear <laughs> I'm human, make mistakes all the time. Okay, so I'm just gonna see how that'll that'll work out. Just put my palette knife down for a bit, lift this up very carefully. <laughs> Even the the one away from my table there, I might just wipe that off before I get into too much trouble. I've got a really dirty baby wipe here, so I'll take that off there. I don't want any more paint will crackle on my <laughs> painted surface there so I've just removed that and what I'm going to do before I uh, close this down I'm going to just put the lid back on my crackle paste and I'm going to take up little bits of found of violet embossing uh, it's a violet pearl by Ranger and I've got a zing here, and this is actually red. It's a metallic finish. I'm not sure what this colour is going to come out like. And I've got a, and a gold embossing pattern, and this is a really old one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from lighter to darker, and I'm going to just pinch up a little bit of the violet, and we'll just... I just want to put a little bit of a rainbow of colour. Uh, I'm going to just put something down underneath that. I'll just put that there just so that I'm not going to make a complete mess of my my painting surface here so I'm just picking up just pinching a little bit of the violet between my finger and thumb and just going to pop a little bit over top there a little bit over top here probably should have my glasses on because I'm working with this I'm going to put it all over each of the flowers but just a little bit around the edges 
Um, that's why I'm not tipping it out straight away because I don't want it everywhere. I don't know if you can see that going on there. I certainly can't because I should have my glasses on. But I can, um, because it's it looks quite white almost coming out of the jar, it's really difficult to see how much I've put on there. But um, what I don't want is for the, the one colour to be everywhere. So I'm trying to, trying to go as lightly as I can here and just put a little bit down. It's actually sticking down onto that wet uh, crackle paste. I'm going to take it all off in a minute the same way that I did uh, with the other, with the roses. I'm just going to tap it off very gently so I don't lose all the um, colour, all the embossing um, medium there. I'll just shut that lid on. I'm likely to just knock it over everywhere. I uh, might go a bit of gold. Actually, I'll go red in the middle. I, I'm not sure what colour red this is going to turn out to be. I'm hoping it's not going to be too loud. Probably will be. And I'll just pop a little bit around the inside. Can you see that? Who knows what this is going to look like when it's done. <laughs> but we're going to see. I think it's just things, you know, just experiment with stuff. You don't, it doesn't matter if you muck it up. You can always just put it down to experience and try something a little bit different next time. So I'm going to put this down on each of the flowers. Not everywhere, as you can see. I'm just randomly placing some of the colour. I'm going to hone in on the middle of each of these uh, stencil flowers. I'm going to hone in on the the middle with some of the gold to see what that turns out like. I've got a little bit darker in some places but I really want the um I want it to stick to the crackle paste here so I hope I'm not too heavy handed there but anyway we'll see what it comes out like in a minute. I've got to wait for it to dry if you put it on before it dry, if you put, um, if you heat it up before it dries, it'll actually um, bubble up a bit. So we don't want that. We just want it to be. Um, I'll just try and actually I might put some in the lid and do it that way. Just want it to look something reasonable. I'm going to put a little bit more in the middle there with the gold. I think there's going to be some um, crackle that doesn't have any any embossing powder on it at all because because it's white on white here it's a little bit tricky to see. Let's go back in here a little bit more. This can probably turn out really ridiculous, but oh well, we've given it a go. What can I say? Arty types always experiment with a variety of different things and um, sometimes if it doesn't come out the way you want it to, you just, most people would call it abstract. I don't call it abstract. I'm not really that much into abstract art. Um, I've seen monkeys paint abstract and elephants. But people, oh my goodness, you can do some wonderful things. Anyway, I'll just tip that back into the lid, put the lid on. And I've got a feeling I need some more violet, so I might just go around the edges again with some more of the violet one. I think it's, it's I haven't used this very much, so I think it's probably going to be something that's actually going to turn out not so not so heavy in colour, probably a very pale, shimmery sort of violet, I'd say, just going by the powder itself. I'm not an embossing type artist. I do try to put a bit of a variety in my work. Um, I just want to see how, I'm really dying to see how this is going to turn out. And I think what I'm going to do when I am finished, when once I've actually used the heat gun on this and I've dried it all, I'm hoping that 
the crackle paste is actually going to crack and you're going to see some really gorgeous, um, oh, just, yeah, really gorgeous little stencil here. But what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to probably spray some colour to darken the white behind it because I like white for some things but not not very often. I'm pretty much vintage through and through in my style and um, I just thought I'll try this but once all the um, the uh, embossing is heated and melted then um, hopefully it's going to be easy just to spray some colour on the background and probably even poke it in a, a tea stain or something like that. So now that I've put all the colour on, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently, I don't want it, um, I don't want all this mess behind, so I'm just going to try and gen gently get it off without blending all the colours together. Um, so we'll just tap it a little bit underneath, just sort of going like this with my fingers. Uh, it is mixing a little bit. Well, I'll keep trying. Maybe if I just be very quick and go like this. <laughs> well, that worked. So once once this um, crackle paste is starting to dry off a little bit, I'm then going to use the heat gun on it and um, we'll see how it is. So it won't take very long, I don't think, for it to dry. So I'll just um, be back in a tick. It's still quite wet, so we'll just wait and see how that turns out, I suppose. It might bubble up, it might not. I'm going to try and keep the the gun away from it. I'm just, yeah, I just wish I had an extension cord here because I might be able to show you a little bit easier. But I'm just going to pick it up and I'm going to go um, with a light instead of a heavy um, on the heat gun. So we'll just put it on a light mode and just see what happens. Probably find that the um, embossing powder will go all shiny and, and bright, <laughs> but the the actual texture paste itself may not crackle yet. Um, what I found also in some of the the trials that I've done in in the various things that I've created, oh yeah, you can start to see that it's not cracking yet. But um, I think what will happen is when I start to paint in some of the background, it'll actually start to crackle then. I've noticed this with my um, other things that I've, I've done with the crackle paste. It may not seem like it's cracking at all, but once I start to put a bit of a wash of colour behind it, it actually does start to crack, which is crazy because you'd expect might just try it from underneath here and just see if that makes a difference. No, not really. Okay, it's starting to bubble a bit, but that's all right. I'm kind of liking the effect. I'm still expecting it to crack once it's completely dry, and I'll put a wash of colour over. That's just that one. I'll just show you before I go moving on too fast. It's not too bad. Not quite pretty. Just try and move the heat gun around a little bit. I feel it's getting a bit hot on my old fingers here. Just paint pointed in a different direction. Yeah, it'd be great to see the outcome of the, the crackle. Before I finish up with this one, I'm, I'm actually going to put a wash over it and see if that makes a difference once I've done all the uh, embossing. Because um, once it's embossed, it's sealed, and so it's not going to... Um, you're not going to lose that embossing off the top of the, the crackle paste. You'll seal it over the top. And where I've missed with some embossing powder, 
Well, that doesn't really matter, but um, you'll, you'll probably see um, the cracks open up once I get get started with some actual um, paint wash, which is what I'm going to do. I can see some faint crazing in the in the crackle, but maybe I'll. Maybe I should have actually dried the crackle first and then put the embossing powder on perhaps, I don't know. Um, let's see how we go. I'm just going around to each of them. I can hear my husband in the background, he found this really excellent band. There are a band that tends to do covers and of different other bands and well-known bands and they're called Fossils and Foxes and oh my goodness I think some of them have, have, some of their music is better than the actual originals <laughs> the, they really sound excellent in their harmonies and everything so when I'm done here I'm just going to sit down and have a bit of a, a session listening to them I think um, I know that they have a Patreon site as well where they obviously got quite a few good supporters and deservedly so. They're a brilliant, brilliant group actually and it's quite heartening to see people, you know, in their, you know, <laughs> mid-50s, 60s, not so much the foxes, they, they're pretty young but uh, the fossils, well, that's just what they are, but they're really, really good. I've been really enjoying listening to them, and yeah, their their vocals are brilliant. And the you know the guys playing the bass and the guitar, and someone was playing a, a mini mandolin. It was just fantastic. So if you're looking for some good music, I recommend those guys. Um, yeah, most of the songs you'd probably know too, if you're in near my age. Okay, just going to turn that off now. Um, just talking a bit of random talk while that's just going over. I'm not seeing that crack. But maybe when it cools down a little bit. I do like it anyway, cracked or not. Actually, I think I've missed a bit there. It's still a bit matte. So I might just whack that one a little bit more with some heat. Oh, maybe I didn't. Just making sure I've got all that embossing taken care of. So now what I'll do is I'll get my trusty paintbrush and I might just put a wash of colour in the background there. Uh, what colour will I use? Actually, I'm, I'm going to spray it. So I'll put it, put it inside this tray and I'm just going to spray some of the, the paint that I used earlier on the other little ones. It's still quite hot, so I'm not sure how it's going to go. But I'm going to spray it and... And that's pretty gold paint and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wipe off where the embossing is in a minute um, just looking to see if I'm getting any crazing in there oh yeah it is actually I can see the crackle paint or crackle paste rather is starting to craze a little bit might just whack that with the heat gun <laughs> terrible thing to say whack <laughs> Before I, before I do that, I'm just going to gently wipe over so I don't lose all the colour. You can see just wiping that with a, with a piece of paper towel. It's wiping off some of the surface colour there. Bit of a conniption with the camera then. So I'm just going to um, just gently heat over the top of this just to dry that paint that I've just sprayed. Let's see what comes of it.
sometimes with cracks when you're using cracker paste you might need to put some extra dark paint in the background just so that the cracks are actually more visible but as this dries I'm sure that I'm going to get some more crazing underneath where I'll put that embossing I'm liking the gold spray in the background just takes away from the stark white of the actual um, paper or card that I'll put the embossing on top of. Um, yeah, just a little look here. I see a little bit of crazing but not too much um, I think maybe once it's completely dry underneath some bits of crazing here and more over here I think if the paint that was put on top of it was a little bit darker it would you'd be noticing it more what I'm going to do, I'm going to try another one and I'm actually going to let the crackle dry and then I'm going to put some, um, like a Versamark or something over the top of it and then put the, the embossing powder on and see how that goes. So I'll add that to the end of this video and just see how it worked out. I can see a little bit of crazing but not as much as I'd hoped for. But I do like that. That's pretty. So that'll make a nice pocket or something in my journal. Uh, won't use it as a journal card because of, over the back of it, you can see you're not going to be able to write on that. But, um, yeah, I quite, quite like that. It's quite pretty. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to... Oh, yeah, I can see some more crazing happening. I'll pull it up closer to you. See just around some of these areas here. As I said earlier, if you want something to be very obvious regarding the crackle, uh, it probably needs to be a wider surface area um, just so that you can see it more. But yeah, that's quite quite pretty. I like that. But it's not enough. I just wanted to show you some other bits that I've done. So this, this is just the, the crackle paste. You can see the cracks in that. I'm going to heat this up because that's embossing powder on there and I've done a couple of these uh, with the embossing powder I just want to see how they turn out you can see I've missed the embossing um, the actual crackle there because there's nothing there which is perfectly fine I like that kind of thing but this is another heart this is just the bare crackle paste on top of that now I did this this morning before I headed off to church and um, I'm really happy with the way that that crazing took place but I haven't put any embossing powder on that. Um, I might try painting something but I, I just I think I like it the way it is so what I might do is I'll just paint the background and the paint will go into the cracks and it'll really stand it out. So I've got a couple of these hearts that I've I've done and you can see the crazing there underneath the embossing powder. We'll see what it looks like once the embossing powder's uh, heated. So I'm going to just do that now. And I haven't tidied up the outside with the embossing powder. I just sort of, I didn't want to lose any more off the top of it. But you can, you don't have to have it all um, messy like I do. Um, if you want to tidy it up, there are little implements that people use, such as uh, like a little soft mop brush, or um, yeah, I think they have little powder, <laughs> powder. I don't know. They look like little powder sacks to me, but um, yeah. So you can clean it up, make it tidy. But I'm okay with it not being perfectly tidy. And I'm just going to heat this up and see what happens. And I've got, always got it on low because I don't want to blow the powder about. Um, sometimes you can actually use it from underneath and heat it from underneath so that you won't won't blow the powder on the top. I tend to like to just do it on the top. Um, I'm just trying to stay in shot there. I'm getting a bit naughty with my camera angle. So 
So I'm just really curious to see what this comes out like and whether it's going to be something I'm going to do a little bit more of uh, as far as decorating my journals and journal cards. I chose the heart because it's quite a large stencil and I thought it might be a little bit clearer when the um, embossing powder is heated. Because it's a, I think it's a type of plasticky sort of thing and that causes it to heat up and melt and look beautiful. But I just wanted to see if I could actually keep the um, the crazing effect of the crackle paste underneath it because I'm just not going to waste my time if it, <laughs> if it doesn't work out. It's just something that I've tried and and um, given it my best shot and thought, well, okay, will I continue with that or not? Probably not if it doesn't work. Oh, yeah, I can see it really starting to crack there where the suet's heating up. Um, I think the key was having the bigger surface area. And as I said earlier, the... Um, the thicker that you put the, the crackle paste on, the larger the cracks. You can see it sort of swimming across as it's heating. You can put it on high, but I think you'll blow a lot of your um, embossing powder off if you put it on too high. These heat gums are great. I use them for a lot of things. Use them for making my flowers, some of, some of my flowers, not all of them. Just for getting, drawing things a little bit more quickly. Because we live in a world of everything needing to be done right now. Okay, we're getting there slowly. Um, I think the, the effect is reasonable. Um, you can see the matte part there where it hasn't quite melted yet. I suppose we should move the gun around a little bit, it might help. It's like watching paint dry, because <laughs> it pretty much is, sort of. Um, oh, what's going on? Must be really thick on in that area, so it's so not melting as quickly as I want it to. It's the gold, the gold's not melting as quickly as I want it to. I'm getting there slowly. melted by now. Naughty gold. Alright, I'll just turn that off. Okay, so you can, you can see the the crazing there with the, the crackle paste and having the embossing over top of it looks pretty cool. And I won't bore you to death and do the other one, but I just thought I'd like to just show you what it looks like the before and after. You can see the the shine on the, the one that's been completed and the one that isn't ready to go but you can still see the crazing under there and I put this embossing powder on while this was wet so I think that's the key because it will stick to any wet surface um, apart from the bits that are all just flying off the edge there which is not a problem because I think I laid it on a bit thick around the edges but yeah so just a couple of ideas and um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe and I'll try and put some more videos up to help with uh, just things to go in your journals. These are obviously going to be decorated much, much further. This is just a start. I uh, just thought I'd like to see how it goes. But you yeah, don't hesitate to use use the pen. Well, it's called a Versa marker. If you're just needing to do a little area or even if you want to write something, you can write it with this and, and um, yeah, just make something, your journal page is a little bit more fancy than, than not. Alrighty, talk to you soon.